Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. In January 2008, NASA's Messenger probe buzzes the planet, skimming just 124 miles above its surface. Messenger takes the first high-resolution images of the Caloris Basin, a huge 3.8 billion-year-old impact crater. We finally saw what the center of Caloris looked like, and we were amazed. The center didn't look like anything that we'd seen on any other planet. A 25-mile-wide dome sits in the middle of the massive basin, surrounded by tentacle-like projections. It was this spoke pattern of something like 200 spokes that were almost perfectly radial to the center of the basin. It was dubbed the spider. This weirdly symmetrical spider is 143 miles across, dominating an entire region of Mercury's surface. Why isn't it repeated anywhere else on the planet? What is singular about that area? What could have made this structure? To this day, we're still arguing. For some, the answer seems obvious. My first reaction seeing that is it looks like living creatures burrowing through the rock. If you wanted to brave the harsh conditions on Mercury, the only place that makes sense is underground. Mercury's thick, iron-rich crust could offer protection from the sun's extreme temperatures and lethal radiation. But not everyone agrees. There's no evidence that the spider, uh, this set of faults, has anything other than a natural cause. If the spider is a natural phenomenon, there could be several causes. One theory is volcanic activity, but the spider does not resemble any other volcanic formation on the planet. Perhaps the most compelling idea is that Mercury's spider was created when a large meteorite impacted the surface of the basin. Much like what happens when a rock hits your windshield, the, the pre-stress led to a, an immediate fracture pattern. If a cosmic collision formed the spider, scientists would also expect to see an impact crater right at the very center of the formation. But it turns out it is offset from the center of where all those cracks converge. It also appears to be later than when these cracks were first formed. So that crater is probably coincidental. There are competing ideas. None of them seem completely satisfying. So this is an unanswered question.